Hi, hi, welcome back to the uh, chat series here, where we're talking to directors of the WA Visual Grammar and Language of Filmmaking course. I'm Chase Johnson Lynch, you know me. But finally, we have a female in the chair, and we have Ms. Misa Torres. I could tell you the long version, or I could let her tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Tavares. Maria do Rosario Tavares. See? Check that out, right? <laughs> Respect. So, uh, Maria, or do you prefer Misa? I like Misa. Misa's pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, so Misa, you, when you first uh, came to this course, uh, you came to the night course. What was the, the, the beta course or the Thai course? Which was the third one, I it think. It was the beta one. The beta course, yeah. 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 So what was interesting is like you came to the beta course, which was our second course. But as I said before, we had a day course that was all females. Oh, okay. And everything like that. So we called that the beta day and the beta night. You know, oh, then you were, so it's yeah. like, yeah, right, yeah. So you look at that. Women want to direct. And they should. Wonder Woman. So, um... How did you find out about the course? Uh, I dis I wanted to do a documentary about uh, an artist, a friend of mine, and I decided I wanted to make a film about him, but I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. So I did look into uh, the WA website, uh, because I also teach to for the WA. So that's right, you can say that. I yeah. mean, that's, what's the whole, that's the whole point. That's the whole point, yeah. So I, checked if they had anything and they did and uh, Richard recommended me mm -hmm. and that's how I find out about it. Yeah, yeah I mean so uh, what course do you teach? I teach uh, art, drawing and painting. I'm teaching at the Tate. I've been teaching at the Tate for about three years now. Wow, mm -hmm. so a year longer than this course and but also something that's very visual so what you wanted to do was take kind of like the still image yeah. and move into the moving image. Yeah. What'd you say, yeah? Definitely. So, of course, once you came and entered the small cinema and you entered our wacky band of characters, how daunting was that? At the beginning, it was a bit, whoa, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. Let's make a film. First day, let's make a film. And I'm like, what? Where's the learning? Where's the, where's the actual the theory and stuff? Like, no, there was a theory. We there spent was. like about a half an hour or so. Yes. Well, <laughs> a little bit. Well, I'm going to make a film now, today. So, what was your first film? <laughs> uh, the very first one I've made, it was um, something called There's No Going Back or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about it in the chat series. So, this is the director, of the, or no, no. I we talked about it in the editing um, blog and stuff like that, but we'll talk about that editing course. But go ahead. So yeah, no going back. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was no. Listen, but, listen there's no yeah. bad films. There's only yeah. lessons. But uh, that was the one where um, I, because I watched, I watched back in, in the editing course that we really kind of like examined uh, or dissected the uh, no going back, where it's kind of. Um, there was, we had to reshoot because it was about the angles, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, now what was interesting about it, which is why it's interesting to talk about it, is, is that like, uh, we said had two people sitting at a table and there was a breakup. And um, the girl gets up and walks away and the guy goes, oh, right? But then, you know, so they're in the cafe, but when they want to, when she's supposed to exit and slam the door, the door is over here in another place. So then she had this cameraman who's much taller than her. <laughs> Shoot the exit of the girl going through the door. And I just happened to catch this bit. And, and, and what did I say? <laughs> I can't remember exactly what he okay, said. Okay, I could. But it was something to do with the, the end of the door. Yeah. And you could see she was not coming from there. Or she was not going to and you can also see by the angle of the shot that the guy who's no. sitting at the chair is yeah. about this big and the guy who's shooting is about that big. Yeah. And it matters. It matters when mm -hmm. we visually look back at the film and those things. Yeah. And that was yeah. that was like your first learning curve. You're like, oh my God, what am I doing here? <laughs> it was great, I have to say, because I did learn a lot. Yeah. And I'm one of those people that learn by doing things, yeah. not by reading about things. Or being told and talked to you and very uh, mad for So uh, I, I really appreciate yeah. your course because it's all hands-on and, and that's how you learn. 
But then also, unfortunately, by being one of the only females in a male full mm -hmm. full course, Lisa kept being drawn into the acting roles. Mm -hmm. And some of our directors that you already know are actors, but Lisa is not. <laughs> I've never done any acting in my life. No. Uh, so how was that, being thrown into the mix? It was interesting. I was a bit nervous mm -hmm. because... I couldn't, my mind just goes blank yeah. to give me lines to read and then if I have a camera standing like now, it's not yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's only a camera. It's only a camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, and if I have, you know, mm -hmm. to, and I just, my mind just went blank because I've never done it before. So well, you, you, did, you, did, you, you did a good job. I mean, like, uh, I think we've killed you several times. Yeah, um, see, we had, uh, you know, different versions of Psycho, uh, um, you know, and, um, you know, it was, that was kind of interesting. But also, I think you also participated in one of one of uh, our uh, practical lectures, the film noir lecture on lighting and everything. Mm -hmm. And that was really extensive, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So mm -hmm. as a learning curve for filmmakers, like we did the whole three-point lighting setup mm -hmm. and you and mine sit at the table. How was yeah. that? Very, very, very interesting. Yeah, it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Where the light is. Where the light is. Yeah, yeah. it's very, very important. Yeah. yeah. It was a very, very good session. I enjoyed that. Yeah, no, 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 it was good. And, uh, and I did the Casablanca, which was that's right. the film noir, and that's, that was a what, highlight. What, what uh, Carl Lamont did, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a highlight. I even had a pianist. Yeah, you had a real pianist and everything like that, you know, it was kind of like, hey, all right. you say, hey, wait a minute, I can really play this, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. But also, too, is, is that, you know, being able to experience the different courses, you're also one of the few, like Nigel Goodwin, who went on to the uh, editing mysteries course. Mm -hmm. So you participated in the editing course. So tell me, like, how was that? Like, first you're learning directing and now, Here's another important aspect of it to learn the editing. How was that course for you? Again, it was very interesting. Uh, I would like to do more. I, there's, it's just so much information on the editing. But We're doing a how to be a YouTuber course in September at the Rotunda yeah. College and everything like that that we'll be focusing on editing. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> Daytime. Very, very important. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you are directing, and of course, uh, in a professional setting, you have mm -hmm. uh, individuals for every yeah. job. Mm -hmm. But in a course like this, you are learning a bit of everything. Uh, do you, isn't it important to know of very, what everybody else does so that way it's It's like, very, uh, very important. Because like, yeah. you know if you make a mistake when you are, uh, if you are the cameraman, if you make a mistake, you know someone is going to edit. And, you know. Yeah, and they're gonna sit there going, "Who directed this?" Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's all it's all together. So it's very important to know yeah. it. Uh, now you work. know, you also reminded me of like one of your last films, uh, uh, the uh, Bridges of Madison County one. Mm -hmm. I actually love that film. I love that. Film. <laughs> yeah, tell us just a little bit about that. Uh, I mean, the original, the film. Mary Strip is just crying. I've watched it hundreds of times, and every time I just. Yeah. It's so well made and so well mm -hmm. uh, acted. It's just amazing. Uh, so I decided to do a little bit of. Uh, Your own version. Homage. Yeah. So we we're talking about the car scene where Clint, mm -hmm. you know, gives Mer Meryl Street the choice. You can stay with him, or you could come with me. I'll stand here in the rain. <laughs> I didn't manage to get a rainy day, which was surprising. I could have made it rain for you if I, you know, if I knew you wanted it to rain. Okay. I could have made it rain it's for okay. you. But. It was slightly different, but yeah, I, I had the scene, so I invited the actors to come with me uh, to the studio. So mm -hmm. we could do a bit of filming inside the studio. And yeah, yeah, the letter and everything. Um, and then, so we can also drive the car. Yeah. So I had to, to choose a, a road where you could yeah. safely. So, like, let's talk about your choice, though, as a director, right? So we all know the scene, and the scene is, like, pretty much a silent film, mm -hmm. you know, in the movie Bridges and stuff. But you chose 
I, I chose to have um, the actors are not saying anything, but do, the, the main actor is reading a letter. Voiceover. So, so it's voiceover. Like chose voiceover, yeah. 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 Uh, so you wrote her a letter apologizing mm -hmm. uh, for not going with her. Mm -hmm. So again, you, gen you gender shifted the roles as well. Yeah. Sorry. And stuff, yeah. And uh, the music. Now, this is also important because we use a lot of music in our films, and we use royalty free music and stuff. But the, I think you went a little further. I think you like, purchased the PRS on the song. <laughs> because at the end, it's a bit like um, it might have sound slightly cheesy, maybe. I love cheese. But I love cheese. It's just good because it's. Give me the whole cottage. It's a romance. It's a, you know, chick flick. It's a. Yeah, story. yeah, it, it works. I thought it that had to be that kind of movie. It works, it works, right. and everything it works. And I mean, like again, it was a tour de force. It was a great film, and stuff like that, you know. Uh, but also too is like because we never really got to finish a personal film that you wanted to make, mm -hmm. um, you know, the MS experience. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we went into a green screen. We had access to a green screen. Yeah. And you wanted to, well, tell us, what did you want to do with that film? Uh, yeah, but it, I didn't have time to plan it. Uh, but what I wanted to do is uh, several scenes of a daily walk for a person with MS, which I have MS, and it's almost like being on a boat, mm -hmm. because we're always very busy and everything is moving, and we have to learn to, to live with it. Um, so the green screen was great, because I could just... Mm, yeah. To do walk and then I could put all the images on the background. Yeah, because you wanted to like show like, how it is to uh, walk down the stairs yeah. or just even to walk down the yeah. street, and and I think people got it, but it was kind of like you know again it was something where because of the choice of green screen or uh, or whatever it's like you know as a person living with MS like what the feeling is like, but it was like trying to get that feeling to an audience, yeah. which. You know, which was interesting because we screened these films and you got to explain a little bit about it mm -hmm. for the audience. So for them to have a deep, deeper impact to the film. But a lot of times I say to directors that, well, you're not sitting behind your audience. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when they watch a film, they kind of go, you know, <laughs> Peter's choking, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. But I mean, you know, so yeah, but it still was an important film because like we like to, Especially the WA always likes to be able to have uh, films that are uh, of, of merit or, you know, yes. saying something. So I really appreciated that, you know. So, um, and I think the last film you did uh, uh, didn't really finish, which was like The Witch. <laughs> MS to The Witch. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a failure. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's good because you, no, no, you, you, it's good because it's, it, you learn the things you're not supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's just say you wanted yeah, to burn somebody at the stake, and no, we cannot set them on fire, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try to let people do whatever it is that's coming out of their minds. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, so I had to put fake fire there, yeah. and unfortunately, Lisa, it's daytime, and we know it's fake. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's not the perfect burn, no. <laughs> <laughs> no effigies here. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. And then Misa left the disgrace. <laughs> yeah. That was not it. But it's no, no. I know uh, also the fact that I was supposed to have a, a child that looked like the adult. Well, at least I had the daughter or the mother, but. Yes, but they don't look anything alike. Okay. <laughs> Wow. It's, it's, it's not something, it's not something. If you didn't know, it was mother If you didn't daughter, know, you don't know it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were going down that road. So, <laughs> anyway. So, good to have you back there, Misa. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Misa has come back to uh, participate in one of our latest horror films and everything like that. And I heard the role got switched at the last minute. <laughs> I'm going to be the corpse. Welcome back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Misa. I really, I really do. Uh, um, yeah, it's been amazing and hopefully informative. You know, I mean, would you do? The, let's put it this way. Yeah. Uh, saying to like women out there, uh, whether it's a males or females, whatever, whether Wonder Woman is your number one film, what would you say to women who wanted to pursue directing? I, I think that there's nothing to, to, to stop you to do it. And it's a very, very interesting uh, job to do. And it's, I, I, to some extent, women are perfect for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and even, even when, like, as you said, you know, when in learning, that's Mises' phone. So even in learning, you still learned a lot and, you know, uh, and continuing the course, you will continue to to learn more about you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and when you are directing, and I'm being very, very uh, not the right way to put it, but women overall, in general, they know how to direct things on a daily basis. It's hard for people to say, but it's true. Isn't it? Yes. It is true. No, no, it is. It is true. I mean, I mean, you know. Is, you know and oh, yeah, it's yeah. I mean, they're always, yeah. And I don't understand why there's not more women. I was surprised when I Because ran. the men are afraid of you. So, <laughs> I said it. It's true. I was, I was surprised when I arrived here and I realized I was the only one. Yeah, because, that's because all the other women were here in the daytime. And, you know, that's just how it is. I wonder how you would have mixed into that mix because that was a really powerful mix. And we're going to hopefully mm -hmm. talk to one of those women uh, next in this uh, chat series. But, you know, for now, we're talking to Misa or Maria de Rosario Torres. Yeah, very good. Hey, well, you know, that's all. Uh, thank you very much for sitting here and having a chat with me. Thank you very much. And, you know, join us next time here on the chat series for the WA Visual Grammar Language of Filmmaker. <laughs>